Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Rocky Cinema, or you can just call me Rockies. And today, we have a ton of Advanced Warfare multiplayer news to cover, and we're gonna try to cover it as fast as possible. But be sure to drop a like on this video for all of the new great Advanced Warfare news. In the background, you guys are gonna be watching some of the Destiny beta gameplay. I'm having so much fun with that game, but that doesn't matter. We're talking about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So, on screen throughout this video, you guys are going to be able to see what I'm reading. And if you want to read it for yourself, be sure to check the link in the description down below. It'll be a Charlie Intel link. So, anyways, first of all, they interviewed Sledgehammer Games, and by they, I mean Xbox Magazine, OXM. They interviewed Sledgehammer Games to discuss a few details surrounding Advanced Warfare's multiplayer. And what Sledgehammer had to say for themselves is that this multiplayer is going to be pretty revolutionary. That is their exact words, pretty revolutionary. So we have a lot of things that they're adding. First of all, they say we've got heavy weapons, which is sort of another new class. And so we're kind of introducing a whole new class. When I hear heavy weapons, I think of light machine guns, but then they've also introduced those other weapons to us that have been like laser guns and stuff where you have to, you know, you don't have ammo necessarily, but you shoot a laser and once that runs out, you're out of ammo. So that is what I believe heavy weapons is going to be. It's a whole new class, you know, aside from assault rifles, some machine guns, light machine guns, sniper shotguns. It's a whole new class. After that, they say vertically boost through the map with your double jump and everything. So basically in the background of Destiny, you can see I'm kind of double jumping and I get like a little jetpack thing. I believe that's what they're talking about. If you see the pictures of the exosuits, you kind of get like a jetpack feel from the back. You lo it looks like you have a jetpack on your back. So you're going to be able to double jump and jump higher, and that's going to be pretty insane. And then another thing they say is the cloak. So the cloak is something that's going to be introduced in multiplayer. I'm guessing that's kind of like Halo. You can go invisible for a little bit. Maybe it'll be a perk. Maybe it'll be something you have to unlock, but you're going to have a cloak of some sort. After that, they say super strength, which I don't know how that's going to work in multiplayer because you can't really pick up anything. The next thing, it says the exo boost and the exo slide so is there gonna be super speed and a slide in multiplayer it says right here that there's an exo slide so that might be something that we're seeing for the uh second time in call of duty i believe it was in call of duty ghost yeah it was so we're gonna probably be seeing that again in sledgehammer another thing that they said is that it is very fundamental like they the exo suit is very fundamental in combat and it's gonna be great and very revolutionary that's the key word of this commentary revolutionary another thing that they mentioned was that a shotgun is a close quarters weapon and short range but it's not gonna be as good as it usually is because it's ineffective against a player who can boost out of the way really quickly so they're gonna add a whole bunch of challenges and opportunities so that you know it can still be fair but apparently from what I'm understanding, the shotgun is not going to be as OP as in every other Call of Duty, so that's that's definitely a plus. Uh, they also talk about a bunch of variety with the exosuit and all that, but uh, that's not really... We've, we've kind of already gone over that. Another thing that they said is that there's a bunch of weapons that people always gravitate to, so you know, the MTAR X in Call of Duty Ghost, the ACR and MW3, etc. So. The key thing, the thing I am happiest about out of all of this is he says, what we do is we look at an AK-47 and in 50 years it hasn't changed a hell of a lot. So for future version, we've changed it as much as you would in 50 years. So the AK-47 is most likely going to be in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. From what I'm reading and from what I'm understanding, they are bringing the AK-47 back, but it's going to be revamped 50 years in the future. So they've looked at how much the AK-47 has changed since, you know, World War II, and that's 50 years ago. So they're predicting how it'll change in the next 50 years, and they're going to revamp the weapons to how strong and how much, you know, abilities they think they're going to add to the guns of today, 50 years in the future, if that makes sense. So we're going to see the AK-47 return, hopefully. We're going to see a lot of World War-era guns come back, probably, except for revamped in the future. So who knows, maybe we'll see a Tommy gun, Maybe we'll see some of the other amazing submachine guns from that era just revamped in the future. So I am so happy. That is probably my favorite part of all of this news that the AK-47 is most likely coming back because that is everybody's favorite gun from any Call of Duty ever. If you ask anybody, 
That and the ACR are probably the favorite guns out of everything. That, actually the ACR and the UMP. Hopefully we can see the UMP come back. No news on that yet, but the AK is probably coming back. Be sure to drop a like if you guys made it to the end of this video. We covered a lot of news in this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you watched till the end of this video. My name is Rocky Cinema, guys, and I am out for the day. Peace.